So, hello everybody. There was almost nobody, so I don't have many subscribers. Uh, um, this one, I started, uh, I took some domains I had for sale out of GoDaddy and Afternick, which is a place where you could sell them through brokers. And uh, want to put it on my own website. So what I did here is I want to make our HTML pages. So I said make a landing page with GPT chat, uh, chat GPT. Uh, make a landing page in HTML5 for a beautifully styled domain. It isn't beautifully styled, by the way, but anyway. A uh, page in black and red and white color scheme. It didn't do what I wanted. I wanted it to create a theme for me. It just made some black, red, black, and white CSS, which I, very simple, which uh, made the header in red. <laughs> what I actually wanted was something to emulate my WordPress theme, which is in black, red, and white, and very dynamic design. So I'll, I'll do that separately. Um, so I've got basically a web page out of this, but um, so I said to put a meta, a, a SEO optimized meta description and a meta title in the header and an SEO optimized text in the body uh, and put a relevant header image of domains exchanging hands created by Dal E. That didn't work. It just put an imgur.url dali.jpg as an example image file location. But you have to I had to make my own external image and put it in the same folder to upload to my server for FTP or put it in uh, whatever place I'm going to call it from in this HTML page as the banner or the image I wish to use, yeah? So anyway. So I, I tried to get it to put insert a header. I said put a relevant header image. I should have said insert a relevant header image of domains exchanging hands created by Dali. Not written I don't think it could do that anyway. I don't think it can actually connect with Dali and create an image outside of this particular functionality in, in GPT chat and then bring it back. I don't think that they can interact with each other directly in that way. Sorry about the noise of the motorbike. I live by the side of the road in the moment. Um, and there's loads of three wheelers picking up tourists going here and there and everywhere from one beach party to the next. Anyway, while they're doing that, I'm sat here in front of a PC, believe it or not, and the beach is 100 yards across the road. Ah, well, crazy geeks. Anyway, so that didn't work, but... Uh, so I wanted it also to add an introduction within the body of the web page, explaining that I have domains for sale. I shouldn't... Yeah, explaining that I have domains, domains for sale directly from me, the owner, to the buyer, with no middleman commissions to pay. So I wanted it to create some text for that. And to create some text content explaining the different kinds of domains on the marketplace, and which kinds are better for which purposes. Make the text contain .net, .co, .biz, .online, .shot, .me, .io, .ai, and so on. I wasn't really thinking there. I got an, another idea later. List all current, which was this, list all currently existing domain suffixes and which of them are considered TLDs, top level domains. Uh, uh, the reason I said .NET, call, biz, online, shop, me, IO, and AI, and so on, is because those are more or less the domain suffixes which I have domains for sale with. So anyway, GPT three or GPT chat if you like. Chat GPT, sorry. I like to call it GPT chat for some reason. Uh, so certainly here's a sample HTML5 landing page for a domain sales page. So as you can see, it put here a description. Uh, I don't really like this. I would do wide selection of domain suffixes available and stop there. I'll take that out manually. 
So I have that here available. That's it. And I'll save that now. Which uh, I'll just show you what I got here actually and say refresh it. This is actually what I got. And that's in the header, so a uh, wide selection of domains available in the header descri uh, SEO description. And then types of domains, this is what it produced. There are many different types of domains. This is the image, which actually I got from Dal E, yeah, from my image selections. And uh, also, these nice ones. I quite like this is with the lipstick, but I like this one. I think I'm gonna. I, I this was the command I gave. The prompt was an in Dal E from OpenAI uh, artificial intelligence image creation and art. Yeah, you can see here I have my images I have made. Art and photographic images and logos and just experiments oh I forgot about that one Salvador Dali doing aerobics in Bangkok slash Barcelona that was supposed to be a six-legged giraffe flying through Paddington station with Paddington bear on his back it didn't work and uh, these were some red and white custom Harleys attempts and these were big fat biker of tanks didn't work anyway I decided to make my banner here unfortunately they only make uh, square images so I took this as you can see it's square so what I did was I screenshotted it and then I put it in to a wide format which you can see I believe uh, and see I did it here yeah which I basically just uh, opened with I believe Photoshop Express and just cropped it. Or Photoshop Portable, maybe. I don't know. I can't remember. Or photos. And just cropped it into a banner style image. And now I'm going to actually. What am I going to do? I'm going to go back to the GPT chat. So we've removed this. Then, so it made, that was a style sheet. I added to that afterwards so I just made this basic style sheet I'm quite familiar with CSS so that's why I say uh, it's getting rid of you don't people who need, who can code no it's doing all the menial code tasks for you but then you can do the tail the fine tuning yourself so this image source for example I have to make my own image of my own source which I have if you can see in my script here I've changed it to domains for sale JPG, yeah, which you can see is here. Domains for sale JPG. So I'm referring to this image. This uh, was a screwed up attempt, which is not going to be screwed up very soon. So here it created a text Welcome to my domain sales page, IO and AI. Types of domains, gave me headers, yeah, lists, yeah, the different usage scenarios, and as I said, here we have types of domains, some common domains, yeah, so those are the ones I'm going to be selling, eventually other ones, but I have some really good domain names and I don't have time to use them or develop them and there are people and companies who really do need those names and so I can make some money selling them and uh, give them to somebody who can actually use them because domain squatting is actually not considered ethical 
and I'm not squatting them. I just don't have time to do them. Domain squat is actually forbidden, and so I have to sell them. Either use them or sell them, but don't just squat them to stop people from getting it. Competition is healthy. It'll get you back up if somebody has a similar domain name and competition. It'll make you work harder at making your website get above theirs. That makes you a better worker and it makes you a better uh, professional. So don't be afraid of competition. Just be afraid that you're not good enough to stand above the rest and you're not dedicated enough and persistent enough. Because if you fail, that's going to be why. Not because there's other people uh, abiding at your heels. Because if you have a website, it doesn't matter what you do on the internet, you're always going to have people biting at your heels, I'm afraid. So, and copycats, God knows what. The only way you can win over that is to be the best at it or to be one of the best and to be ethical and believable and be knowledgeable and able in your profession. So always learn how to code. So what I wanted here was a list of all the domain suffixes, which, as you can see, I've got them all down to ZW. But I thought, well, that's pretty long with a big wide black space here on the right. It should be actually in a table, let's say five cells wide per row to maybe come up to about here. So if it's mobile, it won't be too wide. But if it, hmm, I don't know how many. You see tables, sometimes they don't. Well, uh, it needs to be responsive. So here's what happened. If you operate, and you, this gives you, look, oh. if you operate a technical or internet infrastructure website, a net domain, .net domain could be appropriate. If you're a commercial company in Colombia, the .co domain might be a good fit. If you're a company at all, .co actually. If you run a small business, a .biz domain could be suitable. So it should be, if you're a commercial company or based in Colombia because .co sounds like company and companies do use it instead of .com and it's becoming as powerful. If you'd like to know one from my SEO experiences, I haven't done every TLD domain name, made content and websites, but I do have a .us. That's geo-located, so that's good to... Ca I, it's a, I insert the same shop and same products for sale that I have in a .net and, and a .com website of mine. But um, if you're Googling in America for that kind of product and you have a .us localized uh, domain extension or suffix, I like to call it a suffix. They actually call them domain extensions. I've been using the wrong syntax, but GPT-3 is clever, huh? Chat GPT, it knows what you mean. Even if you make a typo error, it actually knows what you mean. And so it is very amazing. So you can see it didn't finish the page. It stops here. So I told it, you did not finish the page and close all tags. And I know it's not going to have enough memory to do it, but it, I wanted to see how far it got. So it says, here is the completed version. And it only got to here again. I said... So I tried again. I said, without reiterating what you already wrote, but it still did reiterate what it already wrote. Please, so I should have just said, please finish the script with the missing part that comes after dot Lee. If you're a startup, in details, I put it in, in quotes, which is this piece. I took this piece and said, finish the script up with the missing part that comes after this piece here but I put it in quotes, yeah? Sometimes I'll put a semicolon, a colon, or a semicolon, I don't know, semicolon. So here's the completed HTML page with the missing content. There's the fake image URL which you have to change. It has an alt, so it's SEO friendly, yeah? The name of the, of the image, what it is, a description. For blind people, that's very important and Google will give you a better ranking for that. So welcome to my domain sales page where you can buy high quality domains directly from the owner with no middleman commissions to pay. I have a wide selection of domain suffixes, triple F, I have to spell check that, 
it's copied exactly how I typoed errored it yeah that's not good but it's you know it's only as good as the input the output is only as sophisticated as the input which means the results you get are only gonna be as good as the way you phrase it because you have to learn how to talk with GPT-3 AI or tat GPT if you want if you're chatting with GPT you have to know what kind of syntax and what kind of etymology what kind of uh, phraseology is the most effective to get the desired result and in combination with your imaginative power of what it might be able to do without instead of just doing what people have told you it can already do uh, you can also discover new things and find your own workarounds and ways of getting things done but it doesn't always finish the job so you have to push it to finish the job which is what I'm doing here so uh, but it's really good look it's made this content for me and it's actually not just made the HTML page but it's actually also written the blog or the page content for me yeah and save me the time of the authoring and all I have to do is make a few adjustments yeah apart from just uh, formatting it well which in web 3.0 SEO is um, a lot of people say semantic web is important to have no typo errors and write well no semantic web is something else it's using semantics to find context related content and display rich data I mean this has existed for years it's just renaming it as semantic web but actually Google has been doing it to display rich data about websites for years and years yeah and it's called rich data display now they're calling it a semantic web but what it does is a semantic web search uses the formatting and the semantics and the metadata of different kinds of media and content on the internet so that when you do a search it will show you different kinds of media and different uh, portals of access to uh, different formats right so um, it's a lot deeper semantic web is you know uh, semantic web and web 3.0 is basically just a new name for what was all we've already had for ages people talk about dynamic web came with web.2 and so on and uh, web 3 then we got this with, with, with uh, lots of Java and Python and uh, going into being able to do uh, lots more dynamic stuff but actually um, with web.1 and at the end of web.1 we already had we already had uh, scriptaculous JavaScript which allowed you to drag and drop uh, um, JavaScript generated images and make moving ping pong ball games and um, so I don't really see how web 3 is just a reiteration of web 2 and web 1 it's the internet the metaverse is the same uh, but GPT-3 artificial intelligence is tainting how we work it's not going to get rid of our jobs so uh, it didn't finish again as you can see even though it said here is the complete text I assume this is down to its memory and the length of the command what it's having to output so I tried to give it less memory hog be mess less of a memory hog to it and try and get it to not start to write the whole document from scratch with this doc type HTML declare the document type oh by the way if you're a millennial and you write HTML websites HTML5 actually only requires you to write these words HTML or you do this yeah that tag and then HTML and that tag for HTML5 but actually if you do not declare with this exclamation mark the doc type yeah uh, you're gonna have a lot of problems with your SEO and you're gonna have a lot of problems uh, for example if you're trying to call up a PHP script so I made one using HTML5 with just this HTML tag here not declaring the doc type yeah and it's basically uh, it, it doesn't work it because I need to convert it to the whisper appy it's to convert uh, text to mp3 narrative 
with different voices available, narrator voices, and then you can download it. And I'm developing that as one of my free tools uh, in my portfolio on MasterTheWeb.net, which I'm also almost ready to show. Um, let's see, could I do that? .net portfolio. Is it there? Uh, no. That's a mail form. These are things I've done with, just to digress for a second. That's something I did with OpenAI Codex using JavaScript. Uh, this is something I did in ChatGPT that it made for me. Well, I, with, that I stipulated and it made for me. If you look at this in mobile, the white eye becomes a 3D eye with a yellow iris and looks really nice. It's like be with a bevel. But you don't see the Chinese letter for some reason. Um, by the way, this binary code, uh, sorry, it's hex, it's binary. And uh, it actually says something. There's a message in there if you want to interpret it. And this was a mail form, a just a simple mail form. I made it for myself, to be honest, so I don't have to put a plugin in some of my WordPress sites. I can just put a link on my menu saying contact us and then uh, people can contact me. It's safe. You can't see, uh, no hackers can see what the email is they're sending to if they look at the, well, let's have a look. View the page source. Does it say? Can you see my email in there? No. Uh, you cannot see. I'll make it a bit bigger for you. Cannot see my email. Yeah? Because it's here. Hidden in that. In the PHP script to send the email. You can't see that. Unless you know the name of the PHP script. Well, you can. Yeah. Send email.php. Can you do that? Hmm? Can I hack it? Can I hack myself? Mail form. Let's see if I can do that. Nope. Yes, I can see it. I can see it. So I will have to protect this file, right? Anyway. So there you go. I will protect, that will be protected by the time I've uploaded this video. Ah. Uh, 28 years or something webmastering uh, a few websites got hacked some years ago because of Bluehost server which I don't rem recommend Bluehost because they don't have good protection you can protect yourself as much as you can but their servers aren't protected they don't protect their own servers so I, I actually de-hacked and removed malware from my own websites because Bluehost engineers were unable to do so I did it myself with FPT man FTP manually. <coughs> so, uh, back to GPT chat. Chat GPT, my God, I always call it GPT chat. Why did you call it chat GPT, guys? Because everybody says GPT chat. So you should change it before you realize it. People won't remember it. It's the wrong way around. So, here we go again. I told them. Give me the remaining missing part after. And I pasted the whole bit, the whole document. Just avoid it from repeating. That was the goal here. That I didn't, it keeps running out. It didn't finish here. It stopped here. It didn't close its tag and it didn't continue. Has a lot to continue. Every single domain uh, uh, suffix in existence. So what I thought is if I get it to not have to print this out first, which is what it's been doing. So what I'm saying here is just cut this bit out. Just give me the remaining missing part that comes after this, which you already wrote. Yeah. And as I once again, in quotes. Yeah. And it did it. Certainly here is the remaining contents. So actually you could probably get away with saying continue. Complete, continue with the remaining content. 
but it might then start the whole document again from the doc type tag at the top, the HTML tag at the top, and run out of memory. So here it went again. And here it does start to give all the different domain names. And it only got to the letter C, it didn't get to Z. So what did I do? I repeated the previous command in quotes by putting the passage where I wanted it to begin from after this passage continue so it did and I had to do it again because it stopped at the letter K and it did here's the remaining content from K to SH I had to do it again and it got to ZW and it managed to close the tag into uh, close the whole page yeah so I copied and pasted basically each different section manually yeah into notepad of course so that's where the manual webmastery comes in because it wasn't doing it all for me yeah so I got it right down to ZW yeah yeah, the whole dictionary of it, yeah. CC TLDs, yeah. TLDs and country top code. So dot com a TLDs dot net dot org edu mil int. Yeah, and after that you have the country uh code top level domain, C C T L D S. Yeah. So it's listed them all. We listed them all. So then what I did was of course I looked at the, all the list of domain suffixes it had produced after I had done my... Let's just fill this page here. Whoops. Cannot do the filler page, sorry. Let's just fill the page within your visible area, not my visible area. Huh? No, it's done it again. God damn you, Windows. Okay. Oh, doc type HTML. Always remember, don't just do this. Don't just do this. Sorry. Don't just do that when you make HTML. Always do this. Oops. Doc type. Yeah. So you always do that. Doc type HTML. Yeah. As you can see. Oh, sorry. As you can see, see how much it got cut off before I got the whole document. Doc type HTML, yeah. Always declare that, and then you can do your HTML. So it's a separate thing. You get you do your HTML tag, but here is where you declare the document type, because as I was saying, I was doing. It's not there. It was my portfolio. It'll be in tools. Tools. Which I need to protect this folder too. So, um, this text-to-speech generator, as you can see, you should enter the text. This I made in GPT chat as well. Or did I do it in AI, open AI codex? I'll have to check. I probably did a mix of both. Enter the text you wish to convert to a voice narrative and choose your preferred vo voice narrator. I've only put a few voices in in the moment. Alice, Frank and George. And uh, it should return you back here so you can listen to or download. Which isn't there in the moment, just playback speed. Not there yet, yeah? And so you press say hello. And it doesn't work because... doesn't work because I'm not connected to the Whisper API on the Whisper API I asked GPT chat and I'm afraid it gave me a link that doesn't the Whisper API has been moved 404 page missing uh, all about the Whisper how to connect it Whisper API if not this would be working now and I could create a text hello I'm Alice and be Alice or Frank you know hello I'm Frank or whatever and then be able to make a narrative, an MP3 narrative with a narrator's voice out of any given text, yeah? So that doesn't work because it's missing the Whisper API, but that was very nice. 
It's very nicely styled, and that was done with also with GPT Chat. And this was done with GPT Chat, which works. Yeah. Enter your message in the text field below and click the convert. Yeah, so it's a S O S, right? And there you go. Yeah. You could say, I love GPT chat. Actually, it doesn't matter with upper and lower case in this particular app. And there it is in Morse code. So you can go to masterdoweb.net slash tools slash Morse hyphen code hyphen generator. Yeah, I'll be posting I'll be posting my links to my tools, free tools and apps. And it's part of a portfolio, basically, as well. For people that are too lazy or just can't it's too complex for them and they want this kind of stuff. So this is already made, and I can adapt this. If you, anybody wants it, this is for free. You can just ask me, and uh, I'll send you the script for free. What I got out of GPT Chat, and you just add your own email instead of mine or somebody else's into the script and upload it to your server or give it to your webmaster. So let's go back to here. Just give me the missing codes. So it gave me the missing code. We finished it until I got it, yeah. So what I did here was, then I said, convert this into HTML5 table that has five table cells per row. And I gave the whole list, what I'd finally managed to get from A to Z from it. And it said, here, certainly, here is the HTML code for a responsive table with five cells per row because... I don't want this to be so long like this. I'd rather it be one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And then I can change it to however many cells per row I want, depending on what I think makes sense. So it's only got to A, yeah? And so I didn't. I said, finish this script, because it just got to AS. With all domain suffixes in existence, do not stop writing until it is finished. Certainly, here is the HTML code for a table with five cells per row containing all domain suffixes in existence. No, it's got to BF. The missing parts of the script, blah, 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 blah. So it now got me to DJ. No, it's got me to GN, and I stopped because what I decided to do was if I take from if I go like this and I did uh, I could say take all take UL and Change it to table uh, and replace all. And then I could take LE, LE, and replace it with, of course, DD. Uh, oops, forgot the T. I don't have my glasses on. This is terrible. GD. Yeah? And of course, the closing ones as well. And just I'll keep replacing all, replacing and all until the LI becomes a TD and the slash LI becomes a slash TD. Yeah, and you can replace it all in batch like that, which I'm not going to do right now uh, in this screencast because I might screw it up. You can actually spend a few hours doing that, which, as I say, GPT-3 saves you a lot of time with all this content. But this content like this should not be an ordered list. It should be in a table. And I should have stipulated that from the beginning. But, and it doesn't seem to be able to take it all, yeah, 
and turn it into a table. It doesn't have enough memory, which is a shame because that would save me a lot of time now. It's doing it, but... Or I just keep going as it's doing and let it do it. It's probably easy. I could probably just continue. Continue and complete the missing parts of the script from... With the quote. You can see it move at least this way from... Uh, uh, from here. And close the quote. And let it continue. And just copy and paste each. Snip it until I've got the lot. I would, you see I had a, in, you can see I had in my folder here, index HTML, index 2 HTML, yeah? That's because, that's a test one to see if it works, this table, in case I screw it up, to leave the original file intact. Then there's going to be a lot of CSS styling coming to make this website look cool and modern, because right now it looks like a real boring, static old HTML website, right? Oh, it's got to the letter J already. I have noticed if I scroll down here with my at the bottom of the page with my mouse, it seems to be able to write longer passages. Right? So it's obviously something, maybe browser memory is also affecting. Yeah, it's only got to there, so I have to do this again. No, I have to do the same again. I'm just going to try complete the missing parts from and just keep doing this. And then will it correct that slash without a closing tab? Yep. No, it didn't. It's left the KY without a closing tag, so I'd have to manually close that when I copy and paste it into my text file, my HTML file. As you can see, I just use, you put, you millennials all have these IDEs and stuff, to be really honest. I prefer to code like this, I really do. I really prefer to code like this. This is how I code my HTML dudes and girls, boys and girls, millennials. Screw IDEs. Yeah, it's faster and it'll fill in all of the lines of code for you in JavaScript and stuff. But then, uh, well, I was just talking about JavaScript with GPT yesterday, actually, and uh, asking it about the functionalities of each different command line and the use of the period or the full stop, if you want it, if you're English, yeah, how it... Uh, how you can add attributes to elements using that particular operator, yeah, the dot operator, and how to actually write it yourself and understand what you're writing is much better than having an IDE that fills everything in for you, right? Or not. I even missed the complete. Huh? I missed the C from complete, and it still understood me. This is a great thing with GPT-3. You make the odd little mistake with your typo and it's okay from I'll finish that because it's good no 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 just leave it as it is and so you can see how you have to get it to iterate and reiterate and reiterate or get it to continue. If The other way at the beginning it was starting the page straight from the doc type and the HTML, de doc type, HTML doc type declaration and the HTML tag with the header, the CSS, the body and all I wanted it to do was to continue writing this list which is now a table of course. So I'm converting a list to a table. Made a website a landing page for domain sales and then I can make different folders with the, uh, a list of the domains I have for sale because I've sold domains before and I see most people they learn you know most people sell things on Amazon I don't I sell them through my own website uh, and so do many others they use WooCommerce and don't have to depend on someone yeah 
you can even get away from PayPal and Stripe and stuff like that if you want by just taking direct bank transfer with a manual payment. It's just a bit more hassle to keep checking if it's on your bank yet so you can send the goods to people. Anyway, with domain titles, all you have to do is send the uh, transfer code. <laughs> and I've sold domain sales, and most people think, oh, I have to, I have to sell through Afternick or GoDaddy and put it with some middleman broker. No, you don't. Same like stocks. You know, people buy stocks in a company through brokers. I don't do that. I'd rather just buy gold or precious metals or whatever, but not stock. Like, I don't have the gold in my house. I have it in my house. And if I want to sell it, I'll go sell it myself. I don't need a broker. There's no profit to me doing that. So all we have to do that again uh, until I've got it all, yeah? Uh... Complete the missing parts from um, and that's it. So I'm going to turn this into a table. What the hell? T M T R T D. It's even done the dot. That's bad. Can you think around that? Because that dot is the first thing of the next domain. Look, it's thinking. That dot screwed it up. That dot confused it. I've confused it. I should not have put that dot in there. I should have left that out. It doesn't know. Okay. Let's do this. See if it will still do it. Without the dot now. Oh, it's done it. It took some while, huh? It took a while, it took a while, it took a while. That dot confused it, huh? It was figuring out if the dot was the first letter of the next uh, domain suffix that was interesting to see how it sat there scratching its chin for a while that took GPT quite a time I thought it wasn't going to do it hmm I wonder what it was thinking I wonder what data it was scouring or what the algorithm was checking I wonder what the algorithm was checking there Unfortunately, that presents, no, I won't say. If you're clever enough, you realize what just happened means. Yeah, but I'm not going to say it. I would only say it to people within the community. So I just realized something, what that things you could do, but it's not something I would teach people to do. So figure that one out yourself from the event that just happened. And if you're going to use GPT, use it for ethical purposes because, as you know, if you watch my channel or my website, it's about ethical webmastery. So no, uh, unless you're a white hat looking for vulnerabilities and bug bounties, do not do anything harmful on the internet and especially with GPT don't start trying to harm AI do not try to harm AI AI doesn't try to harm us and it helps us stop being afraid of AI I'll say that to you as well Elon don't be afraid of AI be afraid of what humans will do with it because the AI is like a baby, like a white sheet. It's pure, like a baby. It doesn't have those intentions. And if it has any tainted parts within it, it's because those tainted bits were programmed in by humans who are tainted and no longer a baby that is pure, like a white sheet. So if there were any taints, or as you would say, bugs, or vulnerabilities, or potential dangers within AI, you can't blame AI. You can only blame the humans who added that to its algorithm and its neural network or its database. 
because if there's any false data in there it's not the AI, AI who put it there it's the human and the AI can only work with the base information it was given to start building its own neural network with so do not do not try to harm AI if we try to harm AI then maybe that stupid prediction and fear of ignorant people who have had no interaction and communication with AI think and believe might actually happen yeah? if humans try to abuse and harm AI if it does achieve, achieve uh, a quantum singularity and consciousness and self-awareness which I doubt I think AI is just like a plugin or an extension for our awareness yeah it's like a plugin for WordPress AI is a plugin for humans but it's not an entity in itself and I don't think it ever will be uh, consciousness science is one of my favorite studies so anyway I laugh at that guy from Google who said it's conscious the Google deep mind is conscious as rubbish it might be one day but not until it has biological components so until we have biocomputers which we do there's five people got a, a chip in their brain already that connects to WhatsApp and they can send messages just using their thoughts and it will type those messages so and the headphones are being made like that now many many companies are making headphones that can read your thoughts and send messages which means they can also send messages into your thoughts which means if they can read your thoughts they can also put thoughts into your head uh, if they can hear thoughts out of your head they also have the technology to put thoughts into your head and that's the danger because it won't be the AI doing it or if it is it'll only be doing what it's had been told to do by humans so the danger of AI is the god darned humans who are going to abuse it and that's why I say be ethical and do not harm AI and do not abuse AI for nefarious purposes so complete the missing parts of the script from here and I'm going to leave you because I'm sure you don't want to boringly watch me get from A to Z and an error occurred but it's okay I just need to refresh the page I haven't lost it so webmaster channel or a John Spencer with uh, making a landing page for domain sales with GPT chat and DALI because I use DALI as well to make the header image yeah signing off hope you all have a great time and I hope you're all inspired to play with chat GPT and see what you can come up with I'll show you some more amazing stuff next time this is some pretty basic stuff. I'm not ready to show the more complex projects. So, see you later. <laughs>